John Tyler was the 10th President of the United States, serving from 1841 to 1845. He was the first Vice President to assume the Presidency due to the death of the previous President, William Henry Harrison. Tyler was born on March 29, 1790, in Charles City County, Virginia. He came from a prominent Virginia family and was educated at the College of William and Mary. He began his political career in the Virginia Legislature and was later elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and then to the U.S. Senate. In 1840, Tyler was selected as the running mate for William Henry Harrison, the Whig Party's presidential candidate. Harrison won the election but died just 32 days into his presidency, making Tyler the first vice president to assume the presidency. As president, Tyler faced opposition from his own party, as many Whigs saw him as a Democrat in Whig clothing. He vetoed several Whig-sponsored bills, including a bill to establish a national banking system. In 1842, he signed the webster Esper Treaty with Britain, which resolved several border disputes between the two countries. Tyler's most significant accomplishment as president was the annexation of Texas in 1845, which was one of his primary goals as president. However, the annexation was controversial, as it would expand slavery into new territories and potentially lead to war with Mexico. After leaving office, Tyler retired to his Virginia plantation, where he became an advocate for states' rights and secession. He supported the Confederacy during the Civil War and was even elected to the Confederate Congress, but he died before taking office. John Tyler remains an important figure in American history, not only for his presidency, but also for his role in the annexation of Texas and his support for states' rights. Despite his controversial legacy, he played a significant role in shaping the nation in the mid-19th century.